Hi, Jeff Garber, Loan Officer with Gateway Funding. It's Monday, October 21st, 2013. I hope you had a great weekend. Wanted to give you an update on a couple things. Number one, we'll start with Fannie Mae. So what are they doing? Well, on the weekend of November 16th, 2013, they're going to be releasing their most recent version of DU, which stands for Desktop Underwriter. And we use DU to actually get official pre-approvals through uh, Fannie Mae for conventional mortgages. So... Every so often they'll update and tweak their underwriting system to make some subtle changes in underwriting. They could change things like loan to value or risk thresholds or whatnot. But anyway, uh, there are going to be lots of changes for conventional loans. I don't think that many of them are major. But the one big one we know of right now is they're actually going to be eliminating any of the loan programs that are over 95% loan to value. So those 97% loans are pretty much going to be eliminated if you don't get uh, under application before November 15th. So that one we know they're going to cap loan to value at 95%, which is 5% down. Still going to be able to do uh, with MI and without PMI. And I did hear that they're going to be also tweaking their uh, approvals for uh, adjustable rate mortgages or ARMS. So I'm not quite sure yet what that means, but I'll get back to you with an update once I find out more. But I know the big one is 5% down will be you know, the least amount you'll be able to do for a conventional mortgage. That being said, I wanted to give you a quick interest rate update as well. So if we go to the charts, what I did this time is I left this blue line on the chart. And this is called the 200-day moving average. And the reason I'm showing it to you is because it's a very important uh, level of resistance for mortgage rates right now. And the good news is we've actually caught all the way back up to this this point okay and the better news would be if we can break through it and stay above the 200 day moving average uh, that that would mean lower rates and and right now you can see we've touched upon it last week and we kind of bounced off it so it's not the end of the world but again we did climb all the way back up to this level which is an important benchmark so we're going to be watching that closely number two uh, due to the economic government shutdown, uh, several economic reports you know, were not released when they were supposed to, one of them being the jobs report from September, and that's actually going to come out tomorrow. So we're going to keep an eye on that. We're not quite sure what the impact it'll have on the market is because it's coming out you know, at, a, at a different time. But anyway, if there is any dramatic moves, either good or bad, I will give you an update, and I hope this is helpful. Have a great day.